Okay, today. Today, what you what are you pointing at? The hole. Okay. Today, what we're going to talk about is uh, solar panels um, and how solar panels generate electricity. In your science class, you should have been taught that all energy, all energy on the Earth comes from where? Solar. The sun. No, solar panels. But it comes from the sun, even gas and oil, because the trees turn the the, take the chlorophyll, turn the sunlight into energy, the animals eat the energy, the animals get fossilized, the fossilization causes oil, right? So all energy on the earth actually comes from the sun, okay? What we're going to look at today are solar panels, a method that we can use to capture um, energy from the sun and turn it into electricity. Um, there's three primary kinds of solar panels that are in ready use, there's other, there's other kinds of uh, substances that are photovoltaic. Photovoltaic, say that. Photovoltaic. That means it, it reacts when it's hit with sunlight. Usually what happens is it releases uh, electrons. It's volatile whenever the sunlight hits it, whenever the photons hit it, and it, it causes a release of electrons, and those electrons can be collected, okay? Um, we've got three primary types that we use in solar panels. The first is called monocrystalline. What does mono mean? One. One. What? One. One. It means one crystal. So this solar panel here is an example of a monovotolic sub. See these little crystal flats? They're cut from a single crystal, single large crystal, okay? This is supposed to be the most efficient kind of solar panel um, when it's encountering direct sunlight. The second kind is called a polycrystalline, and it's like this bigger one over here. It's cheaper to make polycrystalline because you've got a whole bunch of crystals that are kind of, that are kind of clumped together. And uh, as they're cut, then you can have larger sheets of crystals for each one of these solar cells okay and then we've got a third kind come over here to the front um, called a uh, amorphous solution okay it's kind of like a chemical goop right that's been painted onto a glass frame and then it's got these little silver lines if you notice here this one also has the little silver lines See the little silver good. lines? And look at the little silver lines on here. They're tinier than that one. Yeah, silver, silver actually uh, is a good metal to use to collect these uh, electrons and turn them into electricity. Now, uh, each one has its own strength and benefit. Uh, that's a, the big dump truck. We'll go ignore him for right now, pretend like he's not there. Um, these two are the best kind of solar panels to use when the sun is shining directly on it okay the amorphous film kind of solar panel um, is good but one of the benefits of the amorphous film is that you can make a thin layer of this and it can be flexible for example these camping uh, solar panels um, these camping solar panels fold up they're just um, it's just a small film, and each one has some little silver things, and each one generates electricity, even to this uh, this very old little tiny version. You can see the little tiny solar panels, but because it's an amorphous film, it's able to um, it's able to be folded, and it's uh, much less sensitive than these. Now, a second thing that's important about these solar panels is even though these produce the best output when the sun's shining directly on them. The amorphous film solar panels like this one and the little one in the front over here, these amorphous film solar panels will continue to collect um, the electrons even when the sun is kind of hiding a little bit behind a cloud. So these need really bright sunlight to get the full effect but these amorphous films can operate in very uh, kind of low light conditions. So all of these at one point or another, 
in the last few years we've had all of these solar panels hooked up uh, they would run lights they would run DVD players they would run televisions they would run radios anytime we're out here doing yard work we would pull out these uh, these folding solar panels and hook it to a stereo and the stereo would play because the the uh, solar panels were hooked to them okay so um, next thing we're going to do as soon as I can find my uh, voltmeter is I'm going to we're going to start testing these solar panels what we're doing right now is cleaning them up getting ready for the summer so that we can uh, we can start putting an array together on the roof and we can make a um, some kind of a solar bank and set it up the batteries so that the kids can uh, use it this summer okay